I'm Lisa Pavelka, and welcome to the Fire Mountain Gems and Beads Jewelry Design Studio. I'm here to explain to you all about metal and what it's got to do with pickle. So let's get started. Pickle is nothing more than an acid bath that you expose your metal to after you've worked it. Now, you might need to uh, soften the metal. We're going to just touch on a little bit of annealing, and that's another video you might want to check out if you haven't seen it already. Annealing is what we do when we've taken metal that was formerly softer and malleable, which is often called dead soft or even half hard, and we've work hardened it. Maybe we've textured it. Or perhaps we've soldered a piece. And when we solder uh, and apply heat to it, we create oxidation, or what is also known as fire scale. Your pieces will generally look black, like this copper part here. And you can see these bald head pins I made. The ends of those are black, all from fire scale caused by using my torch. So the acid bath is made using a product called Sparex. Now, Sparex can be used to remove the oxidation or fire scale from silver, copper, jeweler's bronze, and even brass. Follow the directions for mixing the ratio with water. Now, if the water is room temperature, pickle will eventually remove the fire scale on its own, but it's better if it's warm. It's even better if it's hot. Not too hot. We don't want to exceed 125 degrees Fahrenheit. But you can get this handy dandy uh, pickle pot. It's not too big, not too small. It's just right. And when you make your pickle, a couple things you want to look out for. What, when you leave it plugged in, it's going to evaporate pretty quickly. Well, the cool thing is, as the water evaporates, the pickle will still be effective if you need to add more water. When you don't use it, let it cool to room temperature, and I store it in an old glass jar. Be sure to label it and put it out of reach of kids because it is a caustic material. When um, you uh, are working with your pickle throughout the day, you might find you need to add more water even though you're leaving your pickle pot on. Another thing that can occur is a brownish sludge that will form inside the pickle pot, and when you take your pieces out, you might find on your tongs or your pieces some of this brown sludge. That doesn't mean the pickle's used up. It's still working. It's still effective. And as long as your pickle is removing that fire scale, usually about five or ten minutes is enough time to do it, then you know it's still working. You can neutralize it and dispose of it, but you want to treat it with some baking soda first. So let's get started showing you what pickle looks like and a couple little tips you need to know when you work with the pickle. So this piece has been work hardened and I'm just going to bring it to an annealed or soft state again. So I'm turning on my torch. I'm standing well behind my torch. Um, you should pull back loose hair clothing, but I know that I'm not going to be anywhere near my flame because I'm in the habit of always working behind my torch and working with my torch at an angle away from me. So we're just gonna ignite it first. You can see lots of uh, videos on Fire Mountain Gems and Beads on torch working. And I'm just going to heat this and chase the heat until I get it to an annealed state. And you'll see it turn nice and black. Well, that should be enough. So maybe it's not black, maybe it's just dark brown. You don't want to put, after you've soldered your metal or uh, annealed your metal, don't put it directly into the pickle pot because you don't want any of that heat to cause it to splash up and hit you or your work area. And when you do handle, this is cool by the way, when you do handle items that go in and out of the pickle pot, you want to use copper tongs. Some people might use wood tongs, but over time those are just going to get ruined from the moisture. Ah, the magic of television. Isn't that amazing how quickly five minutes goes by? Time flies when you're pickling. So we're going to put it in some water, to which we've added some baking soda to help neutralize it and dry our piece off. Since it's nice and neutralized now, I can just pick it up. And we're going to dry off the piece here. And one thing you'll notice after pickling is that the metal will have a dull appearance, which is normal. You might even like that in your work. 
that type of finish. But generally, I would do some polishing. Don't forget, we have a video on how to do that. Um, but the good news is the fire scale, the oxidation is gone. So I hope that answers all your questions about pickle or pickling in relationship to metalwork. Mm -hmm.